آوزو بلہ میں نشیط وان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اسلام علیکم ایوریون آور ٹوڈیز ٹاپک ہے سالٹس اور ان اس ٹاپک ویل انشاءاللہ تعالی لرن اباؤٹ دا ٹائپس آف سالٹس سو دا ڈیفینیشن آف سالٹ ایز ای سالٹ ایز این آئینی کمپاؤنٹ پروڈیوزڈ وین این ایسیڈ ایز نیوٹرلائزڈ بائی ا بیس فار اگزمپل پوٹیشیوم ہائیڈرو اکسائیڈ وچ ایز ا بیس ری ایکٹس ود ایچ سی ایل which is an acid and they produce KCl potassium chloride which is a salt and water so potassium chloride which is a salt is produced by the neutralization of HCl and potassium hydroxide similarly sodium hydroxide neutralizes hydrochloric acid to form sodium chloride which is so here we have some facts about salts number one is a salt is a neutral substance produced from the reaction of an acid and a base we have seen this in our example second thing is composed of the negative ion of an acid and the positive ion of an of a base students we can see in this example that in potassium chloride which is a salt the potassium has come from base which is the positive ion k positive and the chlorine ion cl has come from the acid which is cl negative and the, they both have made potassium chloride so this thing has been told over here a salt is composed of negative ion of an acid and the positive ion of a base so one of the products of a neutralization reaction which we have already learned in our previous videos so examples are kcl which is potassium chloride magnesium sulfate and sodium phosphate students on the basis of their chemical nature salts can be divided into three group normal salts acidic salts and basic salts so at first we have normal salts normal salts are salts which are formed by the complete neutralization of an acid by a base we can also say that a normal salt is a salt formed by the complete replacement of replaceable hydrogen atoms from an acid it means the acid present in that reaction would give all of its hydrogen atoms in water formation and the salt produced by this reaction would not contain any replaceable hydrogen atom or hydroxyl group the examples of normal salts are potassium chloride sodium chloride iron sulfate sodium sulfate and iron chloride students we have just seen the formation of potassium chloride in this example that hcl plus koh gives us kcl plus h2 h2 we have seen that there is no h or oh group in this salt then we have the second group of salts which is the acidic salts acidic salts are salts which are formed by the partial neutralization of an acid by a base partial neutralization means the acid present in the reaction would not give all of its hydrogen to the water formation and the and the salts formed uh, by this reaction would contain that replaceable hydrogen ions so we can see in the examples number one is formation of sodium bisulfate which is a acidic salt so in this reaction NaOH which is sodium hydroxide reacts with sulfuric acid and forms sodium hydrogen sulfate or sodium bisulfate so you can see hydrogen is present in this salt so this is the acidic salt because it has hydrogen group in this students in normal salts there was no hydrogen in the salt means it was kcl nacl no h group was present but in acidic salts h group would be present and due to the presence of h group we use the word by sodium bisulfate similarly the formation of potassium bicarbonate koh potassium hydroxide reacts with carbonic acid h2co3 and potassium bicarbonate and water are formed again hydrogen group is present in potassium bicarbonate which is an acidic salt so an acidic salt is that which contains one or more replaceable hydrogen atoms in its molecule and is formed by the partial replacement of 
H atoms present in an acid molecule. Students, acidic salts react further with bases to form normal salts. Then we have the third group of salts, which is basic salts. Salts which are formed by the partial neutralization of a base by an acid. In these salts, in the, in the reaction of these salts, the base present would not give all of its OH group or hydroxyl group to the water formation. So the salt produced would have that OH group. Students, the basic salts contain replaceable hydroxyl group which is the OH group in their molecules and they can further react with acids to form normal salts. We can see in this example, barium hydroxide which is a base reacts with HCl which is an acid and produce barium hydroxochloride plus water. Barium hydroxochloride is a basic salt. So barium hydroxide plus HCl produces barium hydroxochloride plus water which is a basic salt. When this basic salt barium hydroxochloride reacts with acid it will produce barium chloride which is a normal salt plus water. So we can summarize these two reactions one and third in this one reaction when barium hydroxide reacts with two molecules of hydrochloric acid then it will produce barium chloride which is a normal salt plus water. Students, after these three groups of uh, salts, we have another category of salts which is double salts. These are the crystalline compounds which are obtained when two specific salts are crystallized together and these are known as double salts. So a double salt is basically a mixture of two salts which on dissolution in water gives two types of metal ions. These salts have definite chemical composition. These compounds usually have definite number of water molecules with them. Students, the typical examples of double salts are shown in this slide. Number one is potash alum. And the formula of potash alum is potassium sulfate, aluminium sulfate and water. 24 molecules of water. That is K2SO4 dot Al2 SO4 thrice dot 24H2. Students, you have to learn all these formulas as it is with all the numbers. The number second is Mohr salt, which is iron sulfate, ammonium sulfate, and water. FeSO4 dot NH4 twice SO4 dot 6H2. The third one is chrome alum, potassium sulfate, chromium sulfate, and water. K2SO4 dot Cr2 SO4 thrice dot 24H2. The fourth one is carnalite, which is KCl dot MgCl2 dot 6H2. Alhamdulillah, we have completed the topic of salts. Meet you with our next topic. Allah Hafiz.